Hey guys, Cece back with another video. And today's video, we're gonna do November favorites. So if it's your first time watching me or my channel, just make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Go ahead and click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can always be notified of all of my future videos because you never want to miss a single upload. You also want to make sure you're following me on Instagram at Camellia Yvette and also subscribe to my family vlog channel right here on YouTube at Bradley Party of Six. So what's up y'all? I am back with another video and today we have come to the end of another month well the beginning of another month but the end wrapping up november here and like i say every single month i can't believe that we're at the end of the year like what 2020 is over like the next oh, wow i even started thinking about this the next round of favorites you'll see for me are our yearly roundup favorites i will do a december favorites but in January, you're gonna have December favorites. You're gonna have our yearly favorites coming up. And I'm still trying to figure out what format I wanna do that in. But all of that stuff is coming up, y'all. Can you guys believe it? I've been doing yearly favorites, I think, for about the last five or six years now, which is really cool to think about. But yeah, the year's wrapping up. 2020 is almost over. Jumanji, you made it, honey, okay? Almost. We ain't there yet. You know, anything could happen knowing this year. But almost you made it to december so give yourself a pat on the back and this has been a tough year for a lot of us and i think 2020 is going to represent at least for me in my life just a renewed spirit you know what i'm saying even though we have no idea what 2020 has in store everyone thought or 2021 i should say everyone thought 2020 and you know might have been their year or whatever the case you have no idea what 2021 has in store but you know that you can survive a crazy year like 2020 and I, I hope i don't kick myself for saying this but i don't know if it could get much worse with everything going on in the world so if you can survive this year just know that you can survive anything okay so anything you got going on in your life apply that to your life you can survive anything all right so that's my little message for today now let's get into the products that i have sitting in front of me i have some really good products sitting in front of me that I think you guys should try and love. I have a few of them on today. So let's just jump in. First things first, let's talk about this drink right here, all right? I featured a lot of my other current favorites in my fall favorites video, so I'm gonna link that up here if you guys haven't seen it, but I totally forgot to, to mention this, so I have to mention it today. And it's the Ocean Spray Sparkling Diet Cranberry Juice, and it's only 10 calories. I love this stuff so much. I've been drinking so much of it, it's ridiculous, but 10 calories you get, how many ounces is this? 11 and a half fluid ounces. So I really love this when I'm tired of drinking water and I'm just like, I want something else, but I don't wanna drink juice, I don't wanna drink pop. This is really good. They also have a non-diet version and it's only 70 calories, which still isn't that bad for this much liquid. So I tried that out. I get mine from Target. They're fairly expensive. So it's $3.99 for four of these cans. So essentially a dollar a can, but they're so good and I'm so addicted. So the next non-makeup favorite is this sanitizing mist. This is by the brand EON and it's a personal size electrolyzer electrolyze, I don't know what I was saying, disinfectant. And it eliminates 99.9% .9 of the bacteria and virus. So I keep this in my purse with me. So if I'm somewhere where I need to sit down and maybe it doesn't feel sanitary or look sanitary, or if a bunch of people have been touching something and I just wanna sanitize it real quick, it's a really small personal size disinfectant spray. So like I said, I keep this on me at all times in my purse. I also have one in my car and it just really helps to make me feel safer I don't know is it doing anything probably not but it definitely helps to make me feel safer and just feel like I'm doing my part and keeping myself clean my surfaces clean so my children can stay safe so I can stay safe my husband can stay safe and so on and so forth so I love that I also have this spray right here. This is the Dry Clean Instant Brush Cleaner Spray. I got this from Sephora a little while ago and I used it a few times, it was cool. And then I just kind of put it down, threw it to the side. Now I've been using it all month and I'm like, why have I not been using this? 
this is basically just you spray it on your brush so say you're doing a makeup look you love this one brush you got say you got your mac 217 on you you know what i'm saying you're using your mac 217 you love it but you need it for two colors and you only got one mac 217 so you use it for the one color you spray this on the brush wipe it real quick it's instantly ready to be used on the next color. So this is very good. It's not to deep clean your brushes, but it's amazing if you need to switch colors in between that brush use. So I love this stuff and I use it all the time. And um, it helps me not to bring out three of the same brush for the same eye look. You know what I'm saying? Because I've done that before. And that's just extra cleanup that you don't need. Last now makeup favorite is this candle right here. This candle smells so good. I got it from Amazon. So this is the number 16 soy candle in the scent Sexy Man. And it's a slow burning 100% cotton wick hand poured in the USA by Lulu Candles. That's what it says on the front, but it smells so, so good. It's like a like a clean but sensual, sensuous smell kind of. Absolutely love this candle. I think it was like $13 or something like that. It wasn't very expensive, so I am so happy with this candle. I want to go back and get more from Amazon, which I think I'm going to do just research some different um, some different scents, but yes. And your girl don't need no more candles. Y'all know the Bath & Body Works candle sale is coming up. When you're watching this, it'll be coming up that weekend. So um, I'll definitely have a haul for you guys for the Bath & Body Works candle sale. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. I have a few bronzers here actually. The first one is a cream bronzer. This is the ColourPop Cream Bronzer in, or the Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Balm. That's what it's called. The Soul Face and Body Bronzing Balm. Try saying that three times fast, okay? I'm in the shade dark. I feel like I could have went a little darker, but then again, when I put it on, it's like this nice toasted, just really toasted bronze shade. It's nothing that's gonna like sculpt or contour me with this shade, but it's just a nice, it, it's a nice shade that just gives me a nice little toasted bronze. So I do like that. This is more so something that, like a shade that I would more so use in the summertime. In the winter, I'm more so trying to be contoured and sculpted. However, I've been using this like every single day and I just really love the color that it gives. I didn't use it today, but I've really been using this on like every single makeup look, you guys. And it's so pretty and it has like that, like that vacation smell. I don't even know how to put it. It's just like a really light, like tropical scent almost. Oh, it just smells so good. Absolutely love this. You can also use this on your body as well. I have never done it, but I love using it on the face as a bronzer. All right, two more bronzers here. I have this Pure Cosmetics Bronzer in Bronzing Act. This has been one of my favorite bronzers for probably about a year now. I actually have it on my face today and I just absolutely love the shade of it. I love the feel of it. It's just super soft. It blends out very, very well. And it's not just a really harsh shade, but it just blends out so well on my skin. You can barely tell it's there, but I mean, it just gives it that little something extra. You know what I mean? So love this bronzer so, so much. And then the last bronzer I've been using is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. And this one I got in the shade 4 Deep. This one I actually could have went a little lighter because this one's actually really deep. So I have to be very light handed with it, even though it's really hard to go overboard with this bronzer, which is super surprising seeing as how deep it is. It's hard to go overboard with it, but I still try to use a light hand and blend it out lightly and it blends out so nicely. It's buttery, soft, just such a beautiful formula that they came up with. So I do really, really love this. Let's talk about brows. This month, I've been going back and forth with brow pomade. I haven't used a brow pomade in a while. So this is the XX Revolution um, Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I've been using this quite a lot, and I just love the way my brows look with pomade. Not to mention, they have a lasting factor that, I don't know, pomade is like glue for my brows. Like, it'll stay stay stay. I don't have to worry about accidentally wiping them off or anything like that because the pomade really keeps them on there. So I love this pomade. It's the perfect color and like I said the staying power is just unmatched. So yeah. 
Let's talk about my foundation combination. Now I'm wearing the Bite Beauty Changemaker Foundation. I talked about this in my I Spent $2,000 at Sephora video. So if you guys haven't seen that, I'll make sure it's linked, but I am wearing that Bite Beauty Foundation that I mentioned in that video. However, the foundation that I've been pretty much wearing like every single day is this combination right here. And it's the NARS Tinted Glow Booster in the shade Tangsi, Tangsi, something like that. This is that, and then I mix it with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade number 330 Toffee. This has been a favorite foundation of mine for years and years. And then mixing it with the NARS Booster. So the NARS Tinted Glow Booster is more like, it's like a liquid, I don't wanna say highlighter, that's kind of what it is it's like a liquid highlighter but i don't want to call it a highlighter it's it's like a it's exactly what it says it's like a glow booster it's a glow enhancer for your face so i don't pull this out a lot in the summertime just because i don't need any more glow on top of the sweat you know what i'm saying but since it's winter time now or coming up on winter time this combination is so amazing. I don't need anything super, super matte like this. So when I mix this glow booster in with it, I just get that perfect combination of, it's not even really a satin. It's still a matte foundation, but just not as matte. You can definitely see some glow coming through. It just enhances the skin a little bit. Very hard to explain what this does, but it's, it's a great product. It really is. Great product. All right, let's move into my eyes. I have my eye favorites on today. And it's the Makeup by Mario Glam Quads. This one in Bronzy Glam and then this one in Rosy Glam. I am mostly wearing Rosy Glam today. I've been wearing the hell out of this one right here. It's, it's just so beautiful. So I have this shade right here on my lids. I have these two shades kind of in my crease area and then I also have this shade in my crease also and then I have this shade in my crease as well I actually use this darker shade for my transition color and these quads I have not used an eyeshadow this good in quite a long time I mean they're pigmented they're buttery they don't have that much fallout which is really nice so I, I don't know these are favorites. These are definitely favorites. He does have like an all matte palette. I just don't feel like I'm gonna get as much use out of an all matte palette as I would these little quads right here because these make great palettes for like enhancing a look. Even though I did my full look with this today, these are really great eye enhancing palettes. So I'd use a matte palette with this, then I'd add one of these shimmer shades on top. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how much use I would get out of his all matte palettes, but those quads, a1. Last few products. This one right here is the Laura Geller Line and Define Dual Dimension Eyeliner. I got this in my last BoxyCharm and y'all, I haven't even been really using the products in my last few BoxyCharms, I'm not going to lie. I've been kind of disappointed with BoxyCharm. But this liner, I just happened to pull it out and use it. I am so happy I did. So it's a double-ended liner. This side, which I haven't used yet, it's a big crayon. It is a like navy blue coal eyeliner is what they're calling it. I haven't used it yet, but I will because it's such a good eyeliner. And then on the other side is a like thicker felt tip liquid liner super black matte liquid liner and it's thicker so in my opinion it's easier to control especially for us liquid line challenged people i suck at doing my liquid liner but these just make it so much easier if you have a good pen and you can get a good grip on it i mean liquid liner is a cinch but it's just really really hard to do liner for me sometimes so this has been making it so much easier and i've been using it every single time i do my liner so of course since it's November or it was November, I pulled out my MAC Night Moth Lip Liner. This is a staple for every single winter. This lip liner comes out and it is just a deep red 
unduplicated lip liner this has been one that i've been using for so many years and it is just so hard to duplicate this lip liner like i have not found a dupe for night moth yet there's so many out there they say they're dupes but they're really not like there is nothing that compares to max night moth lip liner love it then I have the Fenty Beauty. This is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Afternoon Snack and Mo Money. I've been using this all month. Here we are and I have it on today. I kind of feel like this is one of those products that never really goes away, but I forget to tell you guys about it because it is something that I use so often. So I just decided to throw it in this video because I want you guys to know that I do still use it. I do still love it and I think it's a great product to pick up if you don't have it. And last but not least, I have a blush that is another favorite of mine that I feel like I never really put down. It's the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade Ibiza. Like, I've been talking to you guys about this blush for months, I feel like, and then I kind of fell off. I think I fell off on everything when we were moving, but I'm just now coming back to what I've been loving. And so this is something that I had to mention because I've been using it like every day. So that is it you guys, those are all the products that I have been loving all month. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and it was helpful or at least entertaining for you. I also hope you guys had an amazing start to the holiday season with Thanksgiving just passing and Christmas on the way. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.